Well, I'm not sure where it goes, but it goes somewhere, right? Well, hello and welcome to June's episode from the uh, the Bikepacking Dad. We're heading out in some lovely warm weather, uh, chance of a thunderstorm as well, so that could make it interesting. But I've picked a place, it's only about 15 miles from my house. I found a lovely little lock that I've never heard of. There's quite a few gravel trails to get up to it, so I'm quite looking forward to uh, exploring those because I've never been on them. Um, like I always say, there's a, there's more on your doorstep than you ever know. But yeah, the bags are, the bags are packed up. Got the sun cream because this boy doesn't tan well. Nobody wants to see that. So yeah, it's what, quarter to three just now. A slightly later start because I had some childcare stuff to do this morning. Me and uh, baby Arthur went on the train for the first time, so that was exciting. Um, but yeah, let's get this on, get this on the bike, uh, get the food packed and hit the road slash gravel trails because I'm hoping it's going to be a good one. I'm not ashamed to admit it. I've gone full summer mode. I've got the sunnies on, the short sleeve top, GoPro's mounted, the bike is packed up. We're going to head outside and yeah, ride into the sunshine. Lots of sun cream has been applied. Will it make any difference? Probably not, but we'll give it a go. Right, let's get after it. It's going to be good. I can feel it. Well, it's pretty breezy, but I'm pretty grateful because it is roasting out here. And that breeze, although it's still pretty warm itself, it's probably keeping me cool, so I'll take it. Hopefully not a headwind the whole way, but it is what it is. So if you've seen any of my other videos or read any of my other blogs, you'll know that I'm a big advocate for exploring your local area because there's always so much more there than you think there is. And this is a prime example because I've not got my route planning wrong. I am about to ride through the local hospital. But behind the hospital, according to the maps, there are loads of tiny little minor roads which look like they lead onto gravel roads. So I'm going to go and explore them. If I've said it once, I've said it a million times. I use Komoot to plan my routes. Zoom in on that map. There's gravel trails, there's footpaths, there's paths that turn out just to be sheep trails, but you can get your bike along it, I promise. So have a look. That was nice. Nice friendly interaction. Heard him coming, moved over, got a little toot, makes a change to the usual toots you get as a cyclist, but if you ride your bike, you'll know all about that. Well, I've been climbing uphill for about a kilometre since leaving the hospital. I met the only two cars that probably use this road, <laughs> but they were friendly enough. But once I get out of these, uh, these bushes, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have a good view because you can't do all this climbing and not get something pretty to look at. Surely, right? Nice view of the Eildons there behind me. Very nice indeed. According to the map, I'm turning off over there somewhere. I can't see any tracks just now, so let's go and see what we've got. Right, I'm turning left, that beep has just told me, in 240 meters. I can't see any tracks. Not yet. I'm sure there will be though, right? The mapping wouldn't have lied to me. But I tell you what, if I'm going left, that's uphill. That's definitely uphill. Oh well. As long as I don't have another another run in with some cows. That would be a quite a few trips this year where I've ended up in fields of animals that don't seem to want me there. But I can see the junction. Now the question is, there's a bin at the end of the junction, which usually means someone lives there, right? Is it a driveway? There's only one way to find out. And we've got our first gate of the day. It is definitely uphill, wow. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Oh. This is where I'm thankful that my fitness is better than January and February. I think February was Hope's Reservoir. I'll put a little link up just here. But I struggled on that ride. It was very hilly, very cold, and my legs just didn't have it. So I made sure that when I came back from that, I started commuting to work again. Get the work in, get the miles in, get that base fitness a little bit, a little bit stronger than it was. But I tell you what, right now, 
it's uh it's definitely paying off so this right here this was really the start of me getting off road and it was about to lead me to some beautiful places all of these beautiful places did happen to be up a hill and on some very uh tough ground but it was worth it in the end but you'll see in a minute we start dropping into the woods on some single track and it was lovely well this is beautiful oh, some more people All right, cheers guys. Thanks a lot. Oh, bloody oh, hell. Dog. Didn't expect that. All right, <laughs> no, it's all good. I think I'm going this way, so. Yeah. Nice one, have a good day. Well, I didn't see that coming. Okay, we are, yeah, we're definitely off the beaten path now. I've just passed through a little gate. The path, you can still see there is a path. There is a path, but it doesn't look that well used. I don't imagine there's many people riding their bikes along here, so. Yeah, am I a bit worried that it's definitely uphill for a while and it's in the baking sun and there's no shade? A little bit, but don't worry because I've just demolished a handful of jelly babies and had something to drink, so what more does a guy need? Okay, I found a gear nice and early. I'm gonna try and stay on the, the little bit of path that there is. It's quite lumpy though. I don't know if the, the GoPro will smooth it all out with its stabilization, but you just have to take my word for it. We're gonna go up this hill, follow that tree line by the looks of it. But this is supposed to take me towards Selka, so let's get after it. So I was gonna use this voiceover opportunity to tell you about how the camera always plays down the hill and how on this video you can actually see how steep it is. But instead, I'm gonna apologize for all the wind noise on this film. It was really windy out there that day. Uh, so yeah, apologies for that. And also apologies for you having to stare at my veiny arms. It is what it is. Oh, well, that wasn't easy in this heat. Not one bit. So uh, my phone just pinged. I thought I should probably just check it just in case it's the boss lady and something wrong with the kids or something like that. But no, it was Domino's pizza. I could eat a Domino's, if I'm being honest. However, do you think they're gonna, do you think they'll find me out here? Maybe. I'll put a little pin in Google Maps. I'm sure they'll, uh, I'm sure they'll send someone out, right? So earlier on, when I came into the hospital, and I said it looked like gravel roads, okay, I was wrong. But it's not unrideable. Yes, you're gonna need a bit of fitness and a suitable bike, I'd imagine. But it's doable, and it's definitely worth it for the, uh, for the views. Oh, very lumpy though. Ooh. Okay, a little pause just to get a look at this view. It's quite the place. Unfortunately, you've got to look at my uh, my mug in the middle of the screen, so apologies about that, but it is what it is. You've tuned into the bike packing, Dad. It's not a country show. <laughs> right, but for now, I'm definitely in a field with some animals. I've got sheep ahead, hopefully no cows. Me and cows, you know the story. But yeah, the sun's still out. Let's keep on going. I want to get to this water while it's still shining and I can get a dip. Yeah, it'd be rude not to, right? It's pretty windy. Oh, I'm about to make some friends here. Well, friends are enemies. Afternoon. Yeah, okay. Nice to see you. I tell you what though, I'm glad it's not wet with all these sheep droppings. I can't remember which trip it was. It might've been January, out to Eddie Lock. And uh, there was a lot of off-road like this. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, wet sheep poo sticks to everything. So after the sheep cheered me on, I hit this lovely little descent. Just followed their little track all the way down the field. They'd kindly mapped it out for me to let me know where I was going. But you know what's coming? Something to ruin my descent. It's another one. Obviously there's a gate. Obviously there's a gate to spoil my descent. Oh well. I could have nipped around there, but I don't really know where it goes and it looks like there's a river, so 
I'm not going to do that. That was good fun though. So there's a road here, but I get a strange feeling that I've planned my route straight across up that hill. I don't know if you saw that, there's a massive bird of prey up there. That was nice. And yes, I am going this way. This gate's already open, so someone couldn't be bothered to close it, but I will do the right thing and do it for them. Right, I've closed the gate. Let's try and tackle this uh, tasty little climb here. See if we can find that bird of prey again. As long as he doesn't want my uh, my mattress and smoked sausage. So I'm turning right. Nope, that's someone's garden. I made a terrible mistake. <laughs> very strange detour I just took. Well we're back on the road which feels very easy after the last five miles or so. Don't get me wrong it was enjoyable. Beautiful views just like this. But now I'm gonna soak up this downhill on the road. The sun's gone away so it's a little bit cooler which is actually really really nice. But hey sun listen up I need you to come back out when I get to this campsite all right. Because some of us want to go for a swim. I can smell fish and chips. I've not earned it yet. I'm not even that far from home. I've just taken a weird and wonderful route to get here. So there's no way I can stop for fish and chips. What about sausage and chips though? No, no, no. Calm yourself, Jack. You've got chili con carne in a packet and a Matteson smoked sausage to look forward to. What more does a boy need? Not quite sure where my route plan is taking me here, but there's a house without a roof. You don't see that every day. Okay, so I think our, our little stretch on the road may be over. Apparently I'm turning left in towards these houses. Houses, farm buildings, not quite sure. Is it this first one? No, I don't think so. This one here. Let's go see where this goes. Well, I'll tell you what, I don't know how long that surface goes on for, but that's not the worst looking thing I've ever seen. I thought I'd be getting onto some pretty rough stuff here. <laughs> it's all in good going on about the surface, but I've just had a glance around this corner. <laughs> Get a look at this. Oh no. Okay. I'm in a gear. Let's, uh, let's find a rhythm and power up this hill. If you're wondering what that squeaking is, I think it's because I put some like, on my bike I put like a, a frame protector spray and it works great. It keeps the, the dirt and stuff from sticking to it, but it does make the bag squeak a little bit. To be fair, some of you might be thinking, I'd rather listen to that than your terrible chat, so there you go, you're welcome. Okay, I rounded another corner. Time for a little bit of out the saddle. Stretch the legs out, because this is really steep. And it remains steep, obviously. But hey, at least I didn't load my bike up with all of my camping gear and ride up lots of hills on probably one of the hottest days of the year. Oh no, no, I did do that. I think I can see the top. I'll rephrase it, I hope I can see the top. Apologies for the wind, I don't know if you can hear me or not, but we just crested a, a very tasty little climb. Still very warm though, and I'm only about eight kilometers from my, my camping spot, so it's all going pretty well. I like that sign, slow down, don't be a clown. I don't think they've got to worry about that with me going through here, not after that climb. Okay, the road has ended. I'm going through somebody's farm. Oh, where am I going here? That's a good question. It's got me going off down there, but 
That doesn't look right. Okay, found it. I'd ridden past it. It's all just very tight down here. Okay, so I went through a farm, through another gate, obviously. And now I'm kind of sheltered from the wind by the trees, which is really, really nice because it's lovely and warm. The surface is a little bit, well, yeah, it's just like a gravel road, isn't it? Can't really complain. Bike's handling it fine. Legs are being okay. I've definitely got a little bit of sunburn on the top of the legs, I think. So I'm gonna have one of those beautiful bib short cycling tans. But all in all, so far so good. I'm having a great time. And here we have it again. The perks of being in the middle of nowhere off the beaten track. It's all about the views. Well, the path's kind of ended and I'm just riding through a field. But it's telling me to go straight on, so I'm gonna keep going that way. Hopefully, oh, that's bumpy. Hopefully it brings me back to some sort of path because this is very, very lumpy indeed. But we'll see. All part of the adventure. I think I'm gonna go round instead. <laughs> Oh, I tell you what, I don't like the look of this. Oh, look, there's a little... Is that a path the other side? It looks like it. I'm definitely going to hop over and change to that. Because this field is a no-go. Right, let's try and get over here. I'm trying to slice myself up on the barbed wire. Right, come on. Up you come. Oh. Thank you. Right, now I just need to get over myself without ripping anything. Oh. There we go. Easy now, bib shots. Beautiful work. That was a big drop. Uh, am I going to get up this? Hey, hey, hey. Whew. Saved it. Big shout out to that fence. Oh. Well, it's just what you get, Jack, when you don't take the sensible option, mate. I'll never learn. I hope um, the GoPro Superview lens is wide enough to have caught my, my ninja skills there because uh, I'm pretty proud of that one. Right, Let's see if we can cycle up here, come on. Isn't it weird though, because I was riding along there thinking, I don't know what this episode's gonna be like when I edit it. I've not really gone very far. Yeah, there's been a few beautiful views and off-road bits, but on the whole, not majorly exciting. But then I fall off my bike. Then you get a little bit like this which is completely unexpected, quite difficult with a loaded bike. And you think, this is all it takes. This is why you go on these adventures. Yes, you could have miles and miles of relatively boring, fairly flat gravel road or country road. But then, five minutes later, you're riding up a steep, grassy, quite slippy, even though it's dry, which is weird, uh, little trail. Yeah, this is why you do it. I'm turning left up here. There is some sort of signpost. Okay. This is magic. Let me just try and move the camera. Can you see down there? That's where we're going. Okay. Just fell off my bike, didn't die. Hopefully the, uh, the GoPro caught my ninja skills with the fence. Uh, yeah, just come up this trail. Pretty tough. I'm now gonna drop down the trail into the woods, which looks absolutely magnificent. So I'm quite excited about that. But yeah, I was just saying to the GoPro then, you can have loads of B roads and fairly easy gravel trails and things like that. There's a lot of flies here. Can you see this? Um, and you think, oh, it's not that exciting, but then you get five, 10 minutes or something like that. And yeah, I nearly fell off. Well, I did fall off. But 
stuff like that makes you day. That's, that's an adventure right there. That's why we're doing it. So yeah, go and explore. And that's exactly what I'm going to do that way. Let's see what we've got. I'll, um, I'll try and stay on the bike as well. Always a bonus. Okay. Well, my descent through the woods did not last anywhere near long enough. I only went down there for about 100 metres and then I turned left onto another gravel track and guess what? It went uphill. Okay, so since falling off my bike, I dropped, uh, I dropped down that little, that little descent and straight into a climb. Someone go remind me, next time I'm climbing uphill and the sun is absolutely burning down on me and my legs are getting tired, don't look at the elevation profile, Jack. Just don't do it because it never says it's about to get flat. It just says it goes uphill, always. So, don't be an idiot, Jack. Next time, use this. Don't look at the elevation, just keep on riding. And uh, with that being said, yep, we're gonna, we're gonna keep going this way. Now, here's me out on my bike having a great time in the sun, but I look down at the clock, it's half past five, which means at home, it's chaos time. I'm talking dinner, I'm talking bath, I'm talking bedtime. So, a little phone call to the wife, to wish her luck first of all, say hi to the boys, say good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Well, I'm working hard just now. I think I'm on the final few hundred meters before I get to the, to the lock. In the shade, which is nice. You can see the path down behind me. Sorry for the shaky camera work. But yeah, what a great little route. Short on the grand scheme of things, but man, we went some places, right? And we've still got the route back to go. I think that'll be slightly less un less eventful, sorry. And they said less un less uneventful, which I'm pretty sure just contradicts itself, right? But hey, let's go and see what we can uh, find up here. I put my hands up. At some point, I've hit the time lapse mode and sped all of this up. So apologies for you missing the entry to the lock. Right, we've arrived. And as places go, I think I've nailed it again. It's beautiful. Can you get a good look at the water? There's a few swans kicking around that keep taking off, making a lot of noise, but I've managed to find this very small flat bit of ground here where the tent's gonna go, and then I'm gonna go for a swim and a wash, come back, chill out for the evening, because look at it, man. Beautiful. And yeah, then I'll make some food. Right, I'll catch you all in a bit. By the way, I've brought swimming shots this time, so you're not gonna be exposed to my, my derriere again, because no one's coming back for two episodes in a row with that. No one. So I just want to take a second here to speak about the tent. This here is the Soloist XL from Alp Kit. They do a, like a non-XL version, but I'm six foot two and quite lanky. So having the extra storage in the sleeping rooms, pretty handy and it's not that much more expensive. So yeah, this is the XL version. As you can see, like that's taken a couple of minutes to put up. All of those poles, it's one piece. You clip them all together, whack them in the holes, peg it down, job done. And the benefit of this tent is on a beautiful summer evening like this, when you've got views like this, you don't need to put the outer over it. So this is just the inner of the tent. So as long as it doesn't rain, I can lie inside and I get a nice view of the sky when I'm sleeping there. So yeah, really nice. And obviously if you're not putting the outer on, it's, uh, it's even quicker to put up and less to put away in the morning. So yeah, really nice bit of kit. Head over to Alpkit, take a nosy. I'll, I'll throw a little link in the description if you want to take a look. Okay. It's time to go in the water. It's beautiful. There's nowhere to put the camera, so you're coming with me. Now, this is gonna sound cheesy and I make no apologies for it, but there's something really special about just being in the water on your own in the middle of nowhere with no one else around. Yeah, I make no apologies. If you've done something like this, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about right now. And if you haven't, go and do it because you'll get it. I promise you, you will. So it's just me and you, I guess, the camera and anyone who might get around to watching this. But it's, it's toasty. I'm not made for the cold. You'll know this if you've seen my, uh, my episodes from the start of the year, but it's got to be what, 22, 23 degrees? and the water is pretty toasty. But now I'm gonna head back to the camp. I'm gonna throw everything into the tent that I need and then it's time to start thinking about some food because I'm pretty peckish now after my swim. 
Right, I'll see you all back at camp. So it's dinner time. Chili con carne tonight is actually pretty tasty. There's obviously a smoked sausage chopped up in there because you know me, I like a smoked sausage. But get a look at this place. It's just perfect. There's still a little bit of sun in the sky you can see over there. And it's really, really warm. However, about an hour ago, lots of grey clouds came over. So I have put the outer on the tent because there was a yellow warning of thunderstorms in the area. So I thought, better safe than sorry. I don't want to be up at two in the morning trying to put the tent up <laughs> and get soaked. So yeah, I thought I'd get it done nice and early. Okay, chili con carne is gone. Gotta go back and get a cup of coffee soon, but I'm just stretching my legs after dinner. I'll keep this bit really, really short, but I want to let you know about uh, a few things that I've been up to recently. Obviously, I do these My Bike Packing Year episodes. Gonna keep on going with that, 100%. I enjoy them. Hopefully, you enjoy watching them. Um, there's a few regulars that I always uh, put in comments down below, which uh, I really appreciate. And in relation to that, I've completely reworked my website. Completely from top to bottom. It looks completely different. It's a lot more interactive. I popped a forum up on there. So, uh head across say hi it's not hard to do i'll put a link to the website down below get involved share your bike packing setup share your stories things like that say hello um it'd be nice to make a little bit of a community out of this bike packing dad thing because yeah i've put a lot of work in and uh, it's yeah nice to get to know some new people also i've been speaking to historic scotland now the places that i might be going i don't want to give it away just now but there's a couple of castles and some abbeys involved which would be really nice um I'm trying to get access so that I can camp inside the grounds. They've not said a flat out no, and they've actually asked me which locations I'd like to go to. So that's pretty promising. And I don't know if I'm going to make it into my bikepacking year episodes or I'm going to make it a separate mini series. But either way, if that sounds like something you'd be interested in watching, throw a comment down below because, uh, yeah, I don't want to go out and film myself and things like that. If it's going to be for stuff you don't enjoy, I could just go there on my own. Um, but if it sounds good, let me know. If not, let me know. So, yeah. New website, head across, take a look, appreciate that. And uh, what do you think about the potential visits to the castles and stuff like that? But for now, it's a cup of coffee time. This sun's not going anywhere anytime soon, is it? Absolutely beautiful. Can you see the swans behind me, actually? They've uh, kept the noise down for the last hour or so, so appreciate that, guys. Thank you, cheers. Okay, so it's really, really light outside and it's 10 past 10 in the evening which uh, it makes a bit of a change from the trips earlier in the year when I was climbing into my tent at 6 p.m. because it was pitch black and minus three, minus four or whatever it was. However, the perks of it being lighter and warmer is that I've managed to bring my lightweight sleeping bag. It's the Alpkit Ultra 120, super lightweight, filled with Prima Loft gold and rated down to one degree. It's not going to get anywhere near that tonight, so I'm probably going to have a very cozy night. So yeah, um, hopefully going to have a nice lie-in in the morning and then I'll get up and do my usual which is eat my porridge because you know I love the porridge so yeah um, I will catch you all in the morning cheerio good morning I think I got a solid nine hours which was good the sun came up super early I did uh, wake up briefly thinking oh it must be about time to get up and I checked the checked the phone and it was half past four in the morning so I swiftly went back to sleep But yeah, nice night's kip. A little bit of a noise from the birds this morning when they were all, I don't know, I guess they're all coming in for breakfast, I guess. Um, but yeah, apart from that, pretty peaceful. It's really, really warm, which is great. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get a little bit of food on the go and then very slowly start packing away and have a trundle home. It's going to be a good day on the bike. I think the sun is starting to come up over here. So yeah, I'll see if I can avoid any more sunburn because the... Uh, the old neck's a little bit pink this morning. Quick update though, if, uh, if for some reason I don't make it home, uh, it's because I've been eaten alive by all of the flies because I seem to be, well, I say the most popular person. I'm the only bloody person here, but you get the idea. So if anyone finds this phone in a few years time and charges it up and gets this little video on, um, make sure you get that message back to my family, okay? Eaten alive by flies. I'm sure you can see them, right? Everywhere. Okay, now I know this sounds a little bit hypocritical because I'm clearly filming myself eating, but take these moments, sit there, relax, don't have any music on, just watch the world go by for a little bit, soak in the peace and quiet that you don't usually get for normal life. There's a reason I've dragged myself out here into the middle of nowhere, 
rest, relax, reset yourself before you go back to the grind. So here I am. I'm just uh, packing the bike up, nearly ready to go. Well, 60% of the way. Um, and then I found this little guy. Whoa. Well, that was embarrassing, wasn't it? Okay, we're all packed up. Nothing left behind as usual. It's been a beautiful location. The weather's been even better. Um, the fact that I could get in there and go for a swim being as scrawny as I am and usually suffering from the cold just shows how warm it's been. So I'm going to head back on the road, see if I can uh, avoid getting more sunburn on the way back. Chances are high that I'm going to end up a funny shade of pink though. Okay, we're off. Quite a technical little start. Oh, please don't fall off, Jack. Oh, slipping. Oh, we made it. We need to go see if this, uh, this guy in the orange has caught anything. I think he's been out here all night. Did you, uh, you catch anything, mate? No. Quiet night. Nothing biting. Yeah. Next time, though, I think you've got a good spot. Well, I'm not really sure how far home it is. I think once I get to the bottom of the actual road, I'll know where I am. And I think I can make it a fairly short route home because I did have a bit of a lie-in and I should get back and help with the kids because that's the right thing to do. But for now, oh, let's go and get this. Go on, Jack, put a dig in. When your day starts with a descent like this, you know it's going to be a good day. Couldn't help myself, got to the top, I knew it was here because I'd had to climb up it the evening before. So away we went, out the saddle for a little burst, enjoyed the descent, but get ready for it. Oh, that was close. Well done brakes. And just like that, we're back on the road. Nice and smooth. Nearly had a bit of a mishap with that gate. Came out of nowhere. <laughs> but we stopped, that's all that matters. Now, it's not often I end up on these big roads because, well, there's just no need. I've got B roads everywhere, but occasionally I've got to do a couple of miles to get between the, get between the quiet places. So, fingers crossed there's no absolute numpties on the road, but you always get one, don't you? However, safety first. I've got my light on at the back, even though it's the middle of the day. I'm not playing no games. Every trip I catch up with some horses. And they always make me look stupid. Here we go. So, I get it. If you plan routes through the countryside and through fields, you're going to meet horses and you're going to meet people riding horses. But, every time I slow down, I get right over to the side, I always smile, I always say hello and thank you and things like this. But this really annoyed me. Morning. Okay, morning. How miserable have you got to be? I don't think I'll ever get that about country life. I slowed right down for them. Said good morning and smiled. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So now I'm back on roads I know. In a couple of miles, I've got an option to take. I can turn right. And it's ever so slightly uphill for a few miles, but nothing major. Or I can go straight on through a little village called Midlum. Now, Midlum is built on a very, 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 very steep hill. Let that car get by. So I can't say I'm that excited to try and get up it in what is now 24 degrees in the baking sunshine with a loaded bike, but I feel I owe it to you. I feel now I've spoken about it, maybe I'm just all talk. Maybe it isn't a very steep hill. It could be a get off the bike kind of hill, but I'm going to do everything in my power not to do that. So in a couple of miles, we're going to hit Midlam. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, I've bumped into some friendlier horses. There's nobody on it, so there's nobody to be rude and not say hello. <laughs> um, but yeah. Some would call me foolish for not knowing the name of a baby horse, but, you know, it is what it is. Dad joke. <laughs> well, there's the signs. Let's see if it's as bad as I remember it. 
Yep, it was as bad as I remembered it. Except I remembered it on my nice road bike with me not having three bags attached to my bike and not being baking in 24 degree heat. So yeah, this was a, this was a good test for the legs. Oh, nearly there. I think. Don't worry, I didn't look at the elevation profile. All right, it's quite a hill you've got here. Quite a hill, <laughs> 800 feet above sea level. Is it, yeah? At least it's not too warm. <laughs> oh, nice little fact there from the local. 800 feet above sea level, apparently. I don't know how true that is, but I've got no reason to not believe him. I might try and see if there's a Strava segment there and put some of the stats up on the screen because that is pretty tasty. And now I'm going to enjoy this downhill and get my breath back and my legs, hopefully. So here's the stats for the climb as promised. Yeah, not the nicest climb in that heat. Okay, home again in the garage. Not unpacked yet. I'm just taking a bit of shelter from the sun because it's absolutely roasted. Um, yeah, I'm gonna launch everything up to air. It's been a good trip. Like I say, these summer trips, they're far, far easier. Yes, the winter ones, they provide a little bit more of a challenge, which I quite like, but it was also nice just to sit outside the tent for a few hours last night, have some food, and I say watch the world go by. There wasn't much of the world out there, but yeah, just see all the ducks coming in, the swans kicking about. Obviously, I had a nice little swim, which was a bonus. Uh, I could do with the swim right now because look at me. Whew, got a bit of a sweat on. Um, but yeah, really good location. I hope you've enjoyed it. Again, hit that like, subscribe button. Nearly a thousand subscribers, which whoever would have thought it. Go and check that new website out. Let me know what you think. Throw some comments in the forum so we can have a chit chat. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you all in what? July. It's my birthday next month. Maybe we'll uh, plan something a little bit special. Who knows? We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm going to be 34. Right, enough, enough. I'm clearing off. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.